hi this is Esther Hadassah and I just have one of those quick ones um, important for us and I believe that this is going to benefit somebody today tomorrow next week um, let's never despise people let's never despise people some of us are in the habit of despising people looking down upon people and uh, taking for granted people that are around us and um, when you look down upon somebody it's like you're saying I don't see what use they have I don't see if they have any worth in them that's what that's what that statement is saying when you look down upon somebody you look at them and you say to yourself I'm better than them I, I don't think I need them and you know the worst thing about this is you come to realize later that the person you despised could have actually have been your lifesaver. You could despise a person that will save your child in an accident. You could despise a person who is going to be the one that will give you the capital, the much needed capital for your business. You could despise a person who will end up being one of the strongest intercessors for your ministry, one who is going to hold your ministry through their prayers. You could despise a person who could end up connecting you to your spouse you could despise a person whom you might you might might be your next host in the country that you're going into you might despise a person who could end up being your future boss you might despise a person who is the next nurse that will midwife that will help to bath your baby so I'm saying that we need to be very careful about how we treat people. Uh, when God wants to bless, God uses a man. God's hand is a man. When God, God's hand of blessing is stretched towards you, it means he's going to use men to bless you. And God does not need to consult you in order to bless you. God will choose just about anybody, whether they fit your liking or they fit your preferences or not. God does not go with what I prefer so that he can bless me. If he knows that I need something and I need it real bad, he can use just about anybody. He can use just about anybody to reach out to me. Sometimes it's just because we don't like the way they talk, the way they walk, the way they dress, the way they eat, the car they drive. We will say, oh, they don't fit my class. Oh, they don't talk the way I talk. They don't look like the way I would like them to look. You can even despise the man of God or the woman of God whom God is going to use for a miracle which you have been chasing all your life. You have gone from one general to the other in the kingdom looking for your help. But God could use an unknown, small, unknown vessel to change your life completely, to change your family completely. And God does this in order to test us. In humility so it's important that we pray and ask God to give us humility to give us the grace to be humble so that you don't miss your season you don't miss your blessing because if you miss if you miss your helper you've missed your season and you've missed God and you've just delayed things for yourself and that you might never realize it you could be praying about something right now, asking God, do this for me, do this for me. And I'll tell you, God, because he's faithful, always merciful and full of compassion, he will release that which you have asked for in prayer through a person. That person might come your way, but you might dismiss them just because of the outer package. Believe you me, the outer package could seem all wrong, but within them, they could be carrying a mine of gold. They could be carrying a mine of diamond. They could be carrying something that you desperately need, your family desperately need, your child desperately needs. So don't be quick to look at people and despise them and then criticize them and condemn them in harsh judgment. Be the kind of person that is full of the Spirit that you know exactly when the wind of the Spirit is blowing towards you. I hope this blesses you and blesses somebody and I pray that if you have been doing this that God is going to give you grace to turn away and to look at people more highly than you look at yourself because that's what the Bible asks us to do. God bless you.